Alright guys, welcome to a brand new video on Shinobi Striker. This is Dark Side Excel here and we're gonna be doing a DLC review for me to room me real quick. If I'm gonna give my thoughts on this DLC character, she has bring to us some of the best features so far that the game has to offer. Her water pillar jutsu is a defensive water style attack that we got for healers which works very similar to the water shockwave that we saw from the second Akagi in Naruto. You know it acts as a water style barrier whereas nobody can pass through it you know so pretty much man I'm not gonna front but that move is pretty good you know it's really really good not gonna lie it's very useful for a lot of scenarios it's good to protect you from certain enemies it's good to like secure scrolls it's good to secure barriers it's good to secure the flag it's good to secure bases on base bottles so the water pillar jutsu is very useful when it comes on to a lot of situations when your health is on low you can just heal yourself while you're inside the uh the water pillar but the water pillar is not invincible there is ninjutsu that can work against it so you guys have to be careful when you're using it and try to use it wisely and like see your opponent's ninjutsu first before you pop the water pillar because there is certain ninjutsu that works against the water pillar i know the flame lightning works against the water pillar i know the universal pool works against the water pillar the snake trust the ripple the uh what else works against it i think choji's uh super expansion jutsu ultimate works against it and the expansion ninjutsu you know and let me see what else works against it i know for sure that the rasen shuriken can cancel it out i did saw something like that in the game when i was playing survival exercise the other day so rasen shuriken works against it so and i think i'm at a rasu as well on inferno style so pretty much man there is like certain moves that can work against the water pillar so just be weary when you're using it and just see what your opponent's ninjutsu are before popping it but yeah it can work in a defensive way and it can save you on many occasions for her lava style her lava style dissolving jutsu what it does is that okay you fire three lava style from your mouth right three lava style attacks the lava goes in different directions right and it, and it like falls on the ground the only way it works is if you step on it once you step on it it lowers down your movement it slowly reduces your health and not to mention i think it does uh reduce defense i might be wrong on that but we might check when we go in the end very shortly but yeah that's all it does but that's if you step on it though which multiple people are gonna be fighting you in the ear so I think the lava standing jutsu isn't gonna be the best of the ninjutsu to use you know and I wanna suggest this ninjutsu to anybody to be honest with you. to be honest this is like one of the worst ninjutsu I've seen for her and I know a lot of people may agree with me on that because this ninjutsu doesn't make any sense dog like you have to step on the shit bro you have to step on the shit and the only way you're able to like step on it is like in a base battle you know whereas you have multiple uh lava standing jutsu and you have to step on it just to capture the base that's like the only time i know it's gonna have to work but even so someone can just heal all that back heal the effect damage or just use youthful roar and like return back to normal so pretty much the move is not that good dog and you have people who can also like use the burning ash jutsu to like remove the effects the afterburns and they have the subterranean voyage as well so pretty much there is a lot of counters to this and i feel as if it's not necessary of a move to be in the game i believe that if they were going to add the lava standing jutsu they should have made it more better because that shit was really op when she used it against madara when she used it against sasuke you know so Pretty much man, I wanted the ninjutsu to be that good. You also had a water stand ninjutsu where she spits something from her mouth, a water style from her mouth, in one of the openings for Naruto Shippuden and she was like pushing Madara Susano back with that water style. So we needed ninjutsu like that bro. I, I, I wouldn't care if they add in like two uh like two water style ninjutsus for her. I wouldn't care about that because she would be really broken if she did had that but that's my thoughts on the lava style on the whole for the vapor style solid fog jutsu 
this jutsu is pretty good you know i'd say you guys need to get her for this jutsu as well as the water pillar because these two moves are really good but the vapor style in particular it's really good as an ultimate like it covers a good range you know once you release the miss you're able to like bring down the enemy's health gradually you know you're able to bring down their health gradually and very fast that so say for instance you use the ultimate anyone who is inside the ultimate will continue to take burn damage and your health will drop very fast so you got to get out immediately when somebody uses this shit but i am sorry for you if like a healer chooses to like attack you in that mist because if they do you'll suffer more damage and you'll probably die because your defense is lowered once you're inside that mist i think your defense is lowered because once someone hits you that's it dog like your health drops below to a far amount so yeah i'd highly suggest you guys to get me just for her vapor style on her uh water pillar because those two moves are like essential for many modes in this game that you want to like play so you can like win battles very easily but let me go in the insert and show you all the stuff that we got from her as a dlc character let's get it all right guys so here we are in the inn and this is the ninjutsu we're gonna talk about the outfit in just a second but we're gonna start off with the ninjutsus first so for the ninjutsus what we got is the water style water pillar i love the art for the water style water pillar in this game you can see the little water style icon right there i love the art that they did for that move but anyway let me move on to the stats of this weapon not this weapon but this uh, ninjutsu attack so for the power of this ninjutsu it is a 2 out of 5 the range is a 1 out of 5 the cooldown time is 15 seconds and in the summer it says it's a jutsu that generates a column of water centered on the caster that neutralizes enemy attacks allies can also enter the column so not only can you be able to enter the column and like protect yourself against enemies but your allies can be able to like step into the water uh pillar and able to protect themselves as well to like cool down your ninjutsu so they can use it again or they can like get healing from the healer so yeah stuff like that man it's really useful in a lot of situations i'm going to show you guys a little gameplay that i did in survival with this technique and how it managed to like save me on many occasions really so let's get it okay so this is a ninjutsu that i really don't like i didn't mention it beforehand but yeah i really don't like this ninjutsu and I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be a bit better since in the anime, as I did mention before, she did use this ninjutsu in a way to like burn everything around her, melt everything around her, you know? So, pretty much, man, the way it works in this game is really, really trash. Like, I'm not gonna front, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. It is really, really bad, you know? And the only time this ninjutsu works is if you step on it, which many players won't fall for so easily so yeah i'm gonna go into the stats of this uh ninja nin, ninjutsu real quick. i keep saying ninja tool dog anyway the power is a 3 out of 5 the range is a 2 out of 5 it has a cooldown time of 15 seconds and in the summary it says it's a ninjutsu that expels globs of highly acidic fluid from the user's mouth damaging enemies the glob stays in the area for a while and deal damage over time lowering movement speed and jumping ability when touched that's when it touched though because on more on many occasions this move will never hit your enemies only if you're on like a base battle when you're capturing a base that's like the only time you see this move is useful to be honest with you in any other mode in any other mode really it's not all that good it's very useless for combat battles it's very useless for uh barrier battles it's very useless for uh flag battles unless you're like Putting, well, I want to say it's useless for flag, but it's really useful for just base and flag battles only. Because the only way I can see this being useful in a flag battle is if you like use the lava style and run your flag. So if anyone like jumps on the flag and tries to take it, their movement speed will be lowered and their jumping speed will be lowered as well. So pretty much that's like the only use I can find for this ninjutsu technique. And it can be useful in only those two modes alone. For combat matches, it's not that good. And for barrier battles, it's not that good either. 
but yeah i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of this ninjutsu real quick so let's get it Alright, since we're finished with that now, let me move on to the Vapor Style Solid Fog Jutsu. So the Solid Fog Jutsu has a power of a 5 out of 5, so you know this move is very powerful and the duration is a 2 out of 5. It's, an, it's a Jutsu that transforms Chakra into a highly acidic mist and expels it from the user's mouth, lowers the defense and deals continuous damage to those enemies caught within the mist. So pretty much man, once you use it, it has a really decent range, you know, and it covers a good area, not gonna lie. So man, if you hit your enemy or fighting your enemies inside this mist, they're gonna die rather easily. So whenever anyone uses this mist, you gotta like get out immediately because you'll suffer heavy burn damage, bro. And this shit will put your health down by a mile if you don't get out of it in time, bro. Yeah, I can just imagine if a healer were to use heavy boulder jukes and just left you inside it just to die like Bro that shit would be disastrous like I'm not gonna front dude So yeah this, this ninjutsu this ultimate can be very deadly in a lot of situations I kill like 5 people if I'm not mistaken with this jutsu And I kill like 2 people before I kill the 5 people in a different matchup you know so Yeah man this can be very deadly especially in a team battle Whereas, you know, you're playing with a team and they have like ninjutsu that can paralyze the enemies and you pop this shit. My god, dude, I can just imagine someone like using the rosary bondage jutsu in your team and then you just pop this shit right on top of it. You're dead, bro. Like, you're legitimately going to die. Like, it doesn't matter what you have. Your health will either be very low or you're going to die. Like, pretty much. This, this ninjutsu can be very deadly. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of this. So, let's get it. Alright, so this is the outfit that we got from me, you know, looking really nice, not gonna front, and the hairstyle that, I, that I'm wearing, it's her hairstyle as well, so pretty much, yeah. For her skills though on this uh, costume, it has a top skill Master of Medicine, it boosts healing ninjutsu's recovery power, it has a bottom skill Radiant Resolute, it reduces ninjutsu damage taken, it does not apply to status ailment damage, and the accessory doesn't matter because it doesn't come with the costume, so yeah. This is all that the costume does, really. So yeah, that's it. But let me move on to what we actually got for the weapon. So for the weapon, we got the we got the Twin Sword Himera Kari release. It has the attack power of a two. No, the attack power of a three out of five. My bad on that. The speed is a three out of five. The range is a five out of five, and the hit rate is a four out of five. Also, I did suggest a link in this video beforehand before I came into the hin. So hope you guys do check it out. I'm not gonna lie, this weapon is really good. When it when it comes down to its aerial combos in the air and you like use the triangle uh, combo, the triangle uh, super armored attack, you do a helicopter attack with the shit. Like you spin the shit in the air like a helicopter. Then you can cancel it again by pressing X and doing it again by pressing triangle. And you can cancel by using L2 and then you can like do basic attacks by just pressing the square button on your playstation so pretty much man this move is pretty good when you use it in the air but on the ground when you use the 
the triangle combo on the ground it's not all that good to be honest with you. i wish it could have been more better but it's not that good but if you're using basic combos on the ground it works like any other defense weapon when you're using basic attacks with it by just pressing the square button but yeah that's all i have to say on this weapon really it's a really nice weapon and i highly suggest it for anyone who is a defense main it might prove to be very useful in your matchups but let's move on to what we got for the hairstyles so for the here we got the may hairstyle this is the hairstyle right here it looks really good it looks really really good i'm not gonna lie i think this is her border hairstyle because i do think her hairstyle is already in this game from shippuden but i guess they added in her uh Boruto hairstyle if anything this hairstyle still, still looks good regardless and we also get the Mizukage hat just like in the B DLC we got the Raikage hat for the Onoki DLC we got the Tuchikage hat I do hope for the Hokage we are able to get the Hokage hat as well with the cloak to go with it so yeah that would be really fun to have but yeah this is all that we got so yeah I'm gonna leave this down we're gonna go into the title so for the title we got the man hunter so the man hunter as a summary her dream of finding a handsome man grows ever more distant as her fickle feelings sway somewhere between realism and idealism could the chance at marriage be long gone for shut up or i'll kill you i remember she said this to no was it Al? yeah i think Al was the one who said this to her and she shut him up you know by just saying this one line shut up or i'll kill you so yeah that was pretty funny i just wish she would like actually find someone in boruto because she really wanted to marry when she was like a bit older dog and to see her now in boruto and she's like an old woman now and she doesn't like have anyone by her side it's pretty sad dog you know since she actually wanted someone who is precious even in the infinite tsukiyomi you were uh, you're actually seeing her as yo she wanted to be married to someone who is like loyal and shit like that you know so pretty much man it's whatever dog you know but let's move on from this and i think that's all that we got really you know i think that's all that we got and we got some emotes as well which uh can be pretty good i guess we did get some pretty good emotes we got strike out you know we got strike out we got uh twin hearts left <laughs> We got twin hearts right i think these come with the free update if i'm not mistaken so yeah we got the robots which is pretty good not gonna front i just wish that these emotes could be used in battle because if you could like do these emotes in battle that would be really creative to like do since okay say, say for instance i kill an enemy and i like use a troll goddamn emote you know just to like throw my enemies when I kill them that would be so fun dude like seriously then we got the zombie you know got the zombie emotes which is pretty creative I'm not gonna lie these emotes are very creative and we have the cheer group see that and let me tell you something much we also uh for the combos i forgot to touch upon the combos but her combos her combos are really good as a cast character her combos is really really good it slept on i'm gonna suggest a video that i did with me in the top right corner right now for you guys to check out because bro when i was using her combos dog she was really good with her combo like her combo game is really good i have no problem with her combos whatsoever but i do believe her lava style could have been more better but i'm not gonna say she's the best dlc in the world because she's pretty average you know she's pretty average and she brought to the game some brand new techniques in which can bring birth to many brand new builds in this game for many other people to use so i guess i have the dlc to thank for that and pretty much if I'm going to give this DLC a rating out of 10, I have got to give this DLC a solid 6 out of 10. You know, I got to give this DLC a solid 6 out of 10. You know, you know what? Not even a 6. I'll bunk it to a 7. I'll bunk it to a 7 out of 10. You know, I won't, I won't drop it that low because of just one ninjutsu. I'll just like uh, put it to a 7 because the water pillar and the solid fog jutsu, it's really good. So pretty much, man. And then you have the combos to go with it. While it's not that great, it's really good for me because that's the combos that me would normally do. You know, I do wish that her combos would have been so similar to Ruan's in Storm, 
whereas you know when you do her like basic uh, attack you know she does uh, three water style pellets and hit you with that I just wish something like that could be incorporated into this game for me she would be so broken with that shit dog anytime someone use me they always spam the basic attacks with her and like those three little water pellets will come and hit you I just wish that would be in Shinobi Striker because she would be really annoying and really good if she had that. I would bump her to an 8 if that was in this game for her but you know, I'll just put it to a 7. But that's all I have to say really. I hope you guys did enjoy today's review. It's not really a long long review per se you know. So yeah I just wanted to like get whatever I had off my head you know. Because this DLC is not the best you know. It's not the best but it's not the worst either it's just average i did mention this before it's just average i want to say her dlc is trash but her dlc could have been much better but i'm glad for the new content we're getting regardless and i do hope that okage naruto will be coming as the last dlc character very soon and i do hope that okay if a season 3 does get announced it fixes the many issues in this game we get some new maps we get some new characters and not only Naruto characters we need Boruto characters as well because this is also a Boruto game and we need Boruto characters from the new gen we need the new gen characters we need Shikadai we need Metal we need Chocho we need Wasabi we need Namina we need all those new gen characters bro we need all of them dude we need Shinki I'm surprised they didn't add in Shinki in this game we need the new gen characters man like not gonna front we need them and we don't need this many Naruto characters while this is also a Naruto game this is also a Boruto game as well so you're expecting to like drop some of the new gen characters but anyway man that's all I have to say I'll save all that for another video really but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you do happen to come across the channel and you're really interested in Shinobi Striker content, definitely subscribe to the channel today to join the Dark Society. Make sure to also turn on your notifications and hit that bell as well so you'll get notified on all my videos whenever I drop any on the channel. Make sure to click the bell and select all on that bell because that's the only way you receive all notifications here on the channel. So definitely select all on that bell, guys, so you won't miss any uploads. Make sure if you do happen to enjoy today's review, definitely drop a like or a dislike if it suits your preference really and share so that your friends who are really interested in anime gaming content can be able to support me on the videos that I put out on here. So I'd really appreciate you guys to do that for me. And if you guys do have any suggestions, definitely suggest them in the comment section. I'll give you feedback on that. You know, and make sure to follow Sodoran on Twitter for his awesome GFX work at a reasonable price. And make sure to also subscribe to his channel for his awesome gaming related content. So with all that being said, hope you guys do have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. This is Dark Side Excel out. Peace. One more thing before I go. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, guys. Like, not gonna lie, right? I know you guys have submitted in a lot of build requests, you know. And I'm re I'm recording the majority right now, dude. I just need to like tell Soleron to make these thumbnails and then I can like put them up but I gotta put up other videos in the meantime because those thumbnails are gonna take a while right so pretty much man that's all I have to do really and that's all that Soleron has to do Soleron is gonna be late sometimes with the thumbnails because as you know he has stuff other stuff to do so yeah but Hope you guys just stay patient with me with these videos. Just stay patient. You don't have to unsubscribe or anything like that. But if you do, I'm not gonna stop you, you know. But all I'm saying is to just have a little patience and just wait for me. You know, you can remind me in a video that hey, are you doing the bills? Yes, I'm doing the bills. I've already recorded the bill videos. I'm just waiting for the thumbnails. So just be patient and just wait on me. But that's all I have to say. Peace out, guys.